our first proper travel location is Mexico City. And today we're going to show you exactly what our budget is in that fine city. Welcome to this episode of Two Go Row. We're an early retired couple that sold everything we own to travel the world for the next 10 years, tracking our budget every step of the way. So we've talked for months about cost of living and we can finally put it into action. This is the first time we've had an opportunity to share with you our location budget and we can't wait to get started. Yeah, so in this video, it's going to be a little bit dry, I'll be honest, but what we're going to do is walk you through the process that we undertake to define our budget for each travel location. So in here, we're going to be referring to services such as Numbeo and Airbnb and using the details from those to complete our own budget defining spreadsheet. And then we're going to show you how we put that into our budget tracker and then we've got our daily budget tracking that we do on our phone. We've got an app on our phone that we do that with. And we're going to show you how we set that up as well. Mm -hmm. So it's pretty detailed. And we're talking about things like Numbeo and Airbnb. If you want more information on the detail behind what we're doing there, if you just have a look above, I'm linking to a video we did a few weeks ago, which kind of outlined all of this for you. Also, when you see the tool that we use on our phone, which we really, really love, mm -hmm. which is called yeah. Travel Spend, we've managed to get for you a discount of 50%. Now, just to be clear, we don't get anything. Mm -hmm. We get nothing from that. It's you that gets it. We have no relationship with Travel Spend, but we reached out to them and they kindly offered the viewers of Togo Roam a discount for their app on these things. So if you look in the comments below, you'll be able to see that. This is the first time we've done this so it isn't perfect, but you'll see that we've got a daily budget and we'll do our very best to stay within that limit. When we're going into real detail on this video and just to put your mind at rest, you don't have to watch this level of detail every time we travel. We're doing it once and then any places we travel to in the, in the future, we'll put a little reference above back to this video so people can, who are new to us can look and go, what the hell are they doing with this budget <laughs> thing? They can refer back. So you've only got to watch this once to get the detail of what you need to know. So let's hand over to our narrator and he can talk you through the process and we'll see you again at the end of the video. I think he's really good, by the way. Mm, okay, he's good. He is good. So I'm the spreadsheet guy. So I'm going to walk you through our location budget planner. You will have seen this in a previous video and I'll link to it above. But I'm just highlighting here that in the orange, our home location is Birmingham and our travel location this time is to Mexico City. Bottom left, you see the grocery and restaurant index that uses the indexing figures from the orange box to index across to Mexico City. So our total for groceries and restaurants in the UK for a month will be 1,832. Mapping that across to Mexico for a similar style would be 1,066. You see I'm highlighting top right there that we have a 10% buffer. So once we've completed all of the figures going in here, we've given ourselves a 10% buffer because it's our first place. We just want to give ourselves a little bit of security as we get there. So we're now using Numbeo to enter the details for each of the line items. So starting in entertainment, beer is £1.44 for a domestic beer. Coffee, 162. Water is 44 pence. And a cinema ticket is £2.88. Now we're not planning to visit the cinema, but we're just stating here that the average cost of a entertainment event, we're saying is gonna be £2.88. And just to recap on the numbers next to that, we're saying that in a month, we would go to 10 events or five times two, because there's two of us. Or water, we would have 60 glasses of water while we're out because there's two of us, we'd have one a day. Moving down to transport, the taxi start cost is 65p per kilometre, 24p. And then for a monthly pass, £7.50. And then we look down and you see mobile phone. Well, 
we've already got our mobile phones. We bought those in, or the SIM cards for those in Puerto Morelos. You'll see that in a video, two videos ago, in fact. And they were £10 each, so that worked out to £20. Numbeo is telling us for the type of apartment we'd be looking for, we would, we would get that for £898 for a month. Interestingly, though, this time in Mexico City, we've actually booked a hotel. So what we're going to do is total the apartment rental and heating and electric together to give us a hotel cost for the month. So as I say, I'm just highlighting down here the column to the right of the, of the money, and that's number of units that we'll be using of each of those. That's all of our budget done. And I'm just showing on screen here that there's a check and balance on the right hand side. So in column H at the top, it's saying our total budget is 2239 British pounds. With our buffer, that makes it 2463, which is a mere £87.97 a day. So let's move on to our next spreadsheet and see how we're going to use that for our stay in Mexico City. So we're now on to the monthly expense tracker and I mentioned a few moments ago that we're staying in a hotel. The other point to raise here is you can see that there are only seven day items entered. That's because this time we're going to be spending just seven days in Mexico City. So that's why we're looking at this from a day cost rather than a monthly cost. So if you look in the yellow cells on the top left, We've got some budget lines there. So budget in pounds, 246303. So that came from the previous sheet. And this is saying that that will be separated amongst a 28 day month. And the budget would be a total in the local currency of Mexican peso of 68,767 pesos, 80 cents. And that works out to a day of 245599. From our budget planner, we're now able to work along. If you look at the area in white bottom left, you can see that I'm now starting to enter figures here. So the monthly budget for food and drink out is £907 for a month, that is. So if we break that down into a daily budget in local currency, that is just 904 pesos for the for the day and working across groceries 226 pesos 3882 for incidentals 2885 for local travel for entertainment we have a total of 214.55 so you see how this works this is purely a local currency budget and as we continue the utilities, well, effectively, that's going to be blank on the basis that we've got that rolled up into the cost of our accommodation. And then if we continue, phone and internet was 10, 11, 12 pounds, something like that. And then accommodation gave us 1,020.85 pesos for the day. Now we've already booked our accommodation for this location. And you can see that we've overspent by 30 pesos each day. So we're already in the hole and we haven't even arrived in Mexico City yet. So let's see how this works out. As we go through the week in Mexico City, we'll be keying in how much we spend on food and drink and groceries, incidentals, any local travel like Ubers, entertainment. The phone and internet cost will just separate that down day by day as we go through and we've already got accommodation in there so we are rolling travel spend here we go so this is the thing you can get 50 percent off but as you know we're now going to mexico city so i'm keying in the trip name in travel spend mexico city seems fairly straightforward and we're going to be working in mexican pesos while we're there so i'm spinning down looking for mexican pesos found that key that in so you've seen through the various other things that we've shown you in this video, the two different spreadsheets that we used as a basis from Numbeo, we can now key in our budget, which is 17,191 Mexican pesos. And I'm defining the period from the 14th to the 21st of June, because that's when we're going to be there. 
that's everything that's needed, so I'll save the trip down. And remember I said that we've already booked our accommodation, we're staying in a hotel, so I've selected accommodation from one of the travel spend categories, and now going to key in the hotel that we are staying in here in Mexico City. It's costing us, costing us a total of 7,350 pesos for seven nights, and we're staying at Hotel Esch MX Roma, which is right in the heart of Roma in Mexico City. If you're interested in what our hotel was like, we're doing a video in a couple of weeks where we're going to show you around, and it's a really good low cost option. Now I'm showing you that actually that 7,000 is split over seven nights. So that's seven nights, I'll key that in, and you can also define the location from a map effectively of where you're staying. This is useful if, it's, if you're thinking of going back somewhere in the future, maybe you go to a hotel such as this or a bar, you put in the details, it will store that within travel spend and puts the coordinates in so you track back through your spending, you can find it and go back there. That's it, everything is in for the spend that we've done so far, which is so far just the accommodation of 7,350 pesos, simple as that. We're going to refer to this every day as we go through. So there you have it. Coming from our life of plenty, we're now down to a daily budget in Mexico City, capital city of Mexico, a daily budget of just £87. That feels a little bit daunting at the moment. So come with us over the next few videos and we'll show you exactly how much we spent in Mexico City and we'll go through the daily budget on each of our vlogs. Yeah, so what do you think? 87 pounds, you know mm -hmm. enough about Neil, Neil and Sarah now and Two Go <laughs> Rome. Do you think we can survive on 87 pounds a day in Mexico City? Let us know in the comments below. If you're new here, now's a wonderful time to subscribe and mm -hmm. ring that little bell so you know when we have more content coming out for you. And also, if you are one of our regular viewers, give us a bit of love, give us a thumbs up, <laughs> tell your friends about this if you think they'd be interested in this, this kind of cost of living stuff that we're doing as we travel the world because I'm not sure there are too many other vlogs out there that are doing it to mm. the level that yeah. we are. So, <laughs> thanks for sitting through this rather dry <laughs> video. We'll see you again. You've been watching To Go Rome. Bye. Bye.